Welcome to Tech Notice, guys. In this episode, I'm gonna give you five tips how to instantly increase your editing speed. So before you start complaining on the comment section that all oh, these are not expert tips or these are not these kinds of tips or I thought this was something I didn't know, then I tell you, these tips are more like the tips that I would have wanted to discover way before when I started editing and would have absolutely increased my editing speed. Let's call them the tips that I wish I knew way before. So maybe you're beginning um, to edit on Premiere Pro and you're thinking, how can I make this faster and how does this program work? So here are my five editing tips on Premiere Pro that instantly increased my editing speed. Let's get to the computer. So here we are in Premiere Pro. If your Premiere Pro looks any different, then maybe it's because you've got a different version of the Premiere Pro. So if you go on to the help and then about Adobe Premiere Pro, you can see that I've got the 2017 1.2 release of the Adobe Premiere Pro CC. Tip number one is full screen. If you have a smaller screen and you'd like to use as much of the screen space as possible, even though you are kind of maximized on the screen, you can get some more screen space. And this is how. If you press Ctrl and the key next to Z, it's gonna take you to full full screen or whatever. It's gonna remove that blue par from the top. Also, if you're on Mac and you're editing on Mac, then obviously the shortcuts are a bit different that I'm gonna tell you just adjust to that you know control is usually command and so on and then if you press the same again it kind of minimizes your screen again so just nice little tip if you want to use as much screen space as possible there you go tip number two is shortcuts it's very very important to have shortcuts and memorize as much shortcuts as possible because the less you're gonna do with your mouse the faster your editing is gonna be because you're always gonna be faster pressing buttons rather than moving the mouse across the screen so if you want to go and open up the shortcuts window you can either do it by pressing ctrl alt and k which brings up the keyboard shortcuts or you could go to edit and then on the bottom down there is keyboard shortcuts press on that and then it's going to bring up this window of keyboard shortcuts what you can do there is there's like a little search bar where you can search for shortcuts for example let's look for type type tool so you can see here there is application type tool. I have already put a shortcut for the type tool, which is Alt and T. So you can do that. You can have shortcuts pretty much for everything, but you can find shortcuts and then put your own shortcuts if there isn't any in place already. So definitely try to remember and have as many shortcuts as possible that will massively increase your editing speed. Editing tip number three is label the footage so if all of your footage looks exactly the same color then then it's really hard to know what is what at the moment you can see here that i've got another tech notice just project here um, that i'm editing and all of the footage looks blue you can see there's a little bit of pink over there but mostly it's just all blue and it's really really hard to make sense what is what and so on so you can label the footage different color and help you organize the footage by right clicking on it and then you can see there's label and then there's all sorts of names of color probably for you there is different names for these because i have changed all of my color names because they didn't make sense for me you know instead of gold it said mango so it kind of didn't make sense for you for me you can do the same if you want. Press on any of these and you can see it's gonna go a different color and then label them, for example, purple. And then it's easy to remember. But look at that. I'm not even using my mouse, just keyboard. Bam, what's that? Different color, purple. Bam, what's that? Different color, blue. Bam, what's that? Different color. How do you do that? Well, if we go back to the shortcuts window, Control alt k and then if you search for label then you can see label group you can see all the your names of um, colors obviously it's a bit different for you if you haven't changed the names of the colors yet and then shortcuts on the side for you it's probably empty for me i have already put shortcuts for these so these are the numpad on the right of your keyboard and then number one is purple, number two is blue, and so on. So now, when I'm gonna select a footage, for example, let's select this little clip there, and then if I'm gonna press any of my numpad keys from one to eight, it's gonna label it. Eight is gold. Seven. 
five. So easy to label. So imagine if you're editing, even if you're editing wedding project or something, and then you want to label, which I'm doing, you know, for example, ceremony, uh, bride getting ready, groom getting ready, reception, dance. You can label all these different events, different color. So when you're going to start to putting them together, you're going to just by knowing what the footage is, where it's from, by just looking at it, knowing the color. Okay, for example, red is bride prep. And then very, very easy for you to sort the footage very fast. Tip number four is J, K, L, I, O, and comma. So what, what, what do you mean? You're just naming random letters. So let me show you what these letters do and how powerful they are and how fast this, are, this is. So I'm going to open this B-roll window here. That's got loads of just B-roll of uh, these lenses. And I'm going to just um, double click on this one, for example. Now this is going to open up the clip on this source monitor here. Now, if I'm going to press L, it starts playing. K is pause and J is playing backwards. Now, if you press L or J twice, it's gonna start to play it either forwards or backwards, double the speed. So if I'm gonna press L twice, it's gonna move forward twice the speed. Now, let me go back to the beginning. Now I'm gonna press play, okay. Now let's say I'm gonna use the clip from this point. I'm gonna press I which means it's the in point. Now I'm going to press play. Press play again. Okay, and stop. Okay, maybe I missed it a little bit. Go back a little bit, stop. And now I'm going to press O. I did all of this by pressing the keys J, K, L, I, and O. These are standard shortcuts, so I haven't changed anything, so these will work exactly the same on your um, computer, on your Premiere Pro. So now, if I'm going to press comma, so just for the sake, I'm going to make a new sequence. Okay, press OK, whatever. And then here I have a new sequence. And then I've got my B-roll. I'm gonna press comma, bam. What happened? That clip just appeared on my timeline. Now, if I'm gonna hit comma again, it's gonna come on the timeline again. Now, let's go back to the B-roll folder. Take uh, another clip. I know the in and out points are already selected, but for the sake of it, let's just select new ones. Uh, press play. Let's pray again. Okay, and I wanted to come out there. Pause, and now press comma. Bam! That clip appeared on my timeline. So you don't have to drag it, because that's the other option. You can drag that clip to your timeline and then place it, you know, next to your clip. But you can just press comma, and bam! It's gonna hit it on your timeline. Massively gonna Im increase your editing speed. And now the last one. This is my favorite tip, I think, and that sped up my editing speed the best and the most. So what I did was, usually let's say you, you know, you've got your timeline, I know there's only four clips here, but if you've got here, okay, do you know what, I actually didn't like this, I'm going to press C, which is the cut tool, cut it from there, V, select, and then if I want to delete the clip, I have to move my hand across the keyboard, press the delete button, go back, select this, and go back and press delete. So constantly your hand is moving across the keyboard to press the delete button. So what I have done is, I have moved or added another button for the delete. So I can press something else and it's gonna delete the clip for me. So if we go back to the shortcuts window, keyboard shortcuts, and then if we're gonna look for delete, then you can see that here there is edit, kind of under the edit tab, there is clear, shortcut, delete. There is already the delete button there, but I have added this comma. You're thinking, uh, what button is this one? This is the button that's on my keyboard next to number one and above the tab button. So now when I'm gonna press that button there on the keyboard, it's gonna act as delete. Bam, just deleted that. So now when I'm gonna press C, cut something there, select it, bam. I didn't move my hand across the keyboard. So none of that movement happened. It was all under my kind of palm of hand it deleted, so I didn't have to move that much. Amazing. And these were the five tips I wish I knew way before that could have saved me a lot of time editing. I hope this is gonna help you as well. Thank you so much guys for watching this episode of Tech Notice where I hope I'm gonna help you to fasten up your editing pace on Premiere Pro. 
So I'm just gonna remind you again, these weren't like expert editing tips. These are just tips that are gonna make it faster and kind of I wish I knew before, like the shortcuts. The more shortcuts I had, or I have, I'm still learning, you know, some more shortcuts, but the more shortcuts I have, the faster my editing speed is. So thank you so much for watching. Could I please ask you to review my video by taking two seconds and either hitting like or dislike of this video, which is gonna help me to kind of get a good feedback from you guys, viewers, um, and know if I've done a good job or a bad job. Thank you so much guys for watching. Remember, episodes are coming out every single Friday, six o'clock, if not faster. So I'll see you very soon. Thanks for watching, bye.